The Anarchist Schools of Thought Presentation. So the definition of anarchy is a political philosophy which holds the state to be undesirable, unnecessary, or oppressive. Uh, it's also any kind of ideal that opposes authority or hierarchical organization in the conduct of human relations. First came classical anarchism, which were the ideologies that came before the 19th century or so. First off is mutualism. Mutualists believed in a market without any kind of government interference, and all of the work was done through voluntary contracting, so their focus was on a sort of reformation of currency where labor would be exchanged for goods. So essentially we're taking it back to the Stone Age where we can revive the barter system. So that way the people who aren't very good at talking to people could at least take solace in their hard work and collect enough goats to maybe trade for a wife one day. Next is social anarchism. Speaking of goats, these are the ideologies that were present in animal farm, as anarcho-communism falls underneath the branch of social anarchism. Social anarchists believed that personal freedom came from social equality. So as long as you were equal to others, you were more than willing to do whatever it was that you were good at. So it emphasized helping your neighbor in the community, and that a lot of a lot of fulfillment that came for the individual came from helping the common good. We also have individualist anarchism. So individualist anarchism is the most basic understanding of anarchy that there is. It's the first formulated expression of anarchist political or economic conception. It essentially stated that the will and autonomy of the individual should trump any external group or force. Uh, a great illustration of this are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles who sit in the sewer and do whatever the hell it is that they do all day long with no one to stop them. I don't know what it is that they do, or why they need that much pizza, but I pray to God that I never find out. Savages. Next is post-classical anarchism, which was the sort of meat in the sandwich between everything. It was everything after the 19th century, but before 1945. Insurrectionary anarchism was more of like a revolutionary theory. It was the practice of insurrecting a higher authority with the organizational structure of anarchy afterwards. It made sure to focus on class conflict, a uh, sort of us versus them mentality where you were being oppressed by a social class or uh, a monarchy more than just a system of government. And then there's green anarchism. This focuses more on environmental issues through a system of anarchy. This branch contains schools of thought including naturism and anarcho-primitivism, and whatever school that the old guy who sits naked in the locker room all day, that he studied. You know, it's not that he's naked, it's that he feels the need to make eye contact with you. Who's that for? It's not for me. Is it for him? Next is anarcho-feminism. Uh, anarcho-feminism was a form of anarchy which focused on overcoming the social patriarchy, which was the male domination over women, as the oppressive establishment. Funny enough, one of the main creators of this sort of idea, Susan Brown, said that it was almost inherent that women would take to anarchy as a form of government because it focused on the expression of the will of the individual. Then there's anarcho-pacifism. So anarcho-pacifism is pretty intuitively just a form of anarchy which rejected violence of any kind. This fundamental idea of civil disobedience influenced Gandhi's non-violent resistances over in India, at least until he discovered nuclear weapons and began flinging them at every single mother he could see. Religious anarchism was simply put an anarchy with a focus on religious principles. Christians actually believe that the Bible supplemented anarchist ideas because of its encouragement of a practice of individual faith and understanding of the relationship with God. However, most anarchists actually opposed organized religion because they opposed organized anything. Now, how you're supposed to adhere to an organized religion and an unorganized way of life is kind of beyond me, but who am I to judge, right? Then there's anarchism without adjective. So anarchism without adjective was designed to be a sort of catch-all to try and unite anarchists regardless of their additional beliefs. This was to unite groups under a common opposition to authority and wanted the freedom of the individual most of all regardless of the economic structure or system or additional ideals that came along with it. Finally, we're at contemporary anarchism. This is the stuff that's a little bit more recent in its development. It's everything that was developed from 1945 and forward. 
Anarcho-transhumanism was the belief that the freedom of an individual is their ability to expand their experience of the world around them, typically through some kind of technology that increased their intelligence or capabilities. Now, personally, I don't believe this is a very effective political ideology. However, if any great ruler forced me to get rocket boots for feet, I certainly wouldn't be opposed. However, these guys are most likely going to be the ones to create the Terminator if he ever does come about. Queer anarchism was a sort of anarchism as a solution for the issues of the LGBTQ community, similar to the ideas of anarcho-feminism in the sense that it was using the, the freedom of the individual brought about by anarchy as a vessel to solve the problems of a specific community. Post-anarchism was a theoretical move toward the synthesis of classical anarchist thought and practice, a sort of revival or resurgence of the old ways, or at least it was attempted to be. Uh, by its nature, post-anarchism can't be defined by any doctrines or set beliefs as it's without structure, so you can't really go back and reform anything if you're not allowed to look at what you're supposed to be reforming. Post-left anarchy was pretty similar. This one just attempted to revise the typical leftist association with anarchy and tried to move away from any kind of ideology in general and focused on social insurrection. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I understand that nobody watches these sort of videos for no reason, so here's a cool picture of a tiger to sort of compensate you for your time. Thank you.